Now then, some of you might know that Subtitle Guy has another job on this channel, besides being a complete and utter asshole to me. Clearly it must be a somewhat important job then, because let's be honest, why else would I put up with him? I mean, you've all seen the shit he comes out with in the subtitles, so you know I don't keep him around for that. Whatever, look, I'm not talking to you anywhere, I'm talking to the audience. And since we're doing an announcement video without gameplay, you're going to talk to the audience too. Oh come on, I don't even like this voice. I sound like a right posh twat. Tough, we're doing this properly, now shut up so I can do the video. Oh I, give me a voice, then tell me to shut up. Thanks a fucking bunch. Oi. No. Sigh. Fine. Yes folks. Subtitle Guy has another job on the channel, because Subtitle Guy does all the channel art. Another job for which you don't pay me. Anyway, you might have noticed that Subtitle Guy has his own channel too, although it's only really there so people know it's him when he comments on these videos. Nonetheless, this causes a distinct problem for me, because as you may have noticed, his artwork is shinier than mine, Almost like the cheeky bastard did it on purpose. I never did. Ha 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 ha. So clearly, there was only one solution. But since that would have been illegal, not to mention bloody messy, another solution was needed, and I know exactly the solution we need. Yes, folks, since we've hit one of my subscriber milestones, it's time for a channel revamp, so that I'm not getting outdone by the hired help. So without further ado, it's time to steal Thanos' gimmick and bring about a new world order. Look how much nicer it is, and more importantly, look how much more eye-catching it is than his. I don't say this often, but nice job, subtitle guy. I am happy you approve, he said in a voice dripping with sarcasm. So there you go, we've hit a subscriber milestone, I've got new channel art, and crucially, my avatar now stands out more than his, so I'm back at the top of the pecking order again. Yes, I like this. Perfectly balanced as all things must be. Oh, and it's not just the channel art. No, the colours are brighter on the thumbnails as well, so you can tell at a glance what each video's about. Purple is for remotes videos where I go into detail about any topic that takes my fancy, whether that's the music and games, the best bosses, all the reasons EA can fuck off forever. Well, you get the idea. Red, meanwhile, is for cracks one out videos where I take a gander at a single game that takes my fancy. We're playing around with the format at the moment, but I expect cracks one out videos to get a wee bit more focused in future. This is coded language for, subtitle guy shouted at me until I promised to actually plan videos. Then you've got blue, and that's for completes videos, where I do full on multi-part playthroughs of, you guessed it, whatever game takes my fancy. Except that series is on hold for the time being, so don't expect any more blue thumbnails for a while. We'll get back into them at some point, promise. Yes, just like you said you would with Dishonored. Shut up. And finally, teal is for news and announcements like, well, this video. So everything seems to be in order then. Not quite. Go on, tell them. I can't keep it in any longer. Oh, go on then. There is actually one more thing to unveil. This is the bit I've been looking forward to. Weird Korean happy cat face emoji. You see, subtitle guy isn't just a designer and a professional gobshite. He's also a musician. Well, okay, he's a drummer, but that's nearly a musician, so it counts. And as well as that, he also does a bit of composing. And the thing is, you know how I've got those ending cards on my videos now, like all the professionals have? We figured copying them would be close enough to doing actual professionalism. Well, wouldn't it be nice if there was music over that ending card? As in, custom-made music. As in, subtitle guys made me my own smegging theme tune. And you are going to love it. I've not heard it yet, so this is going to be as new to me as it is to you. Although, I know it's going to be fucking epic, because I gave him a massive budget to do it. Seriously, there was probably enough money in there 
to buy the London Symphony Orchestra. Anyway, hit it, big man. Wait, wait, hang on, fucking stop. What the fuck was that? You told me you wanted a theme tune. I told you to make me a theme tune, not play the music from Space Jam on a fucking kazoo. You never specified that you didn't want that. Because I never thought for one second that I would fucking need to. It's not my fault you write the vaguest briefs in recorded history. Oh, fuck off. Anyone with half a brain would realise that the phrase, make me a theme tune, does not translate as, steal something off Warner Brothers so we can get sued. I didn't steal it. I interpreted it. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about that, shall we? You interpreted it with a fucking kazoo. Badly? What happened to the fucking budget I gave you to make it? I spent it on essential studio supplies. And what, pray tell, might those essential studio supplies be? Beer and prophylactics. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but why do you need beer and condoms in the studio? You've never been in a band, have you? Fine. Okay. I don't want to know. The groupies are awesome and you don't even have to pay them. You can stop now. Wall to wall pussy, my friend. Shut up. Knee deep in quim. Shut up. This video's already getting demonetized as it is. Yeah, like YouTube will ever let us monetize any of this shit. They might. Titan even I wouldn't let us monetize this shit. Alright, look. The point is, you were supposed to make me a theme tune and you fucked it. You took the theme tune budget and spent it on booze, floozies and rubber johnnies. Ah, no, you're wrong, see, cos I got a freebie deal on the women. <sighs> Only none of that actually happened, did it? Yes, it did. You just did that shit theme tune and made all of that up to troll me, didn't you? Maybe. Because the truth is that you only ever pulled once at a gig, isn't it? Who have you been talking to? And he was a middle-aged man from Grimsby, wasn't he? He told me his name was Marjorie, and he never called me back. Life in a band isn't really like that, eh? It's not fair. In the last six years, the only twat I've been near is you. So... Have you got the real theme tune? Fine. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Well, folks, I think that's all there is to say. So without further ado, it's time to debut the new outro. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>